It's um, really, really lovely to see with this sunshine that all, all passing through and feeding and this, this is what's so important to have fields like this which have got grassland, herbs, wildflowers and attracting a whole variety of butterflies. They were soaking up the sun at this Winchester Nature Reserve, a habitat boasting a bounty of butterflies, usually over 30 species of them. Butterfly of their marbled white, this is a a white butterfly but it's checkered like a flying chessboard and then we've got meadow browns. The best thing for me is it's the start of spring and you see them right through the summer and then you feel bereft when they've gone at the end of the season. But many haven't been returning, a story seen further than just these fields. Numbers of some types of butterfly down compared with 10 year averages says one conservation charity. It's thought partly because of a loss of landscape they rely on but also unseasonably cold and wet spring weather. It meant they'd been without the sun needed to warm up their bodies to get enough energy to fly and feed. One of the biggest drivers is climate change. So it's all human induced factors that are contributing to these you know, declines in, in butterflies and moths and, you know, and the wider, you know, wider nature. To understand the full impact of climate change on the insects, butterfly conservation want us to take note of what we are seeing. By taking part in the big butterfly count over the next three weeks, with wildlife broadcaster Chris Packham already starting to spot what's soaring around him. We just need 15 minutes of their time standing in one spot looking at these very beautiful animals, counting them and then uploading the data. And do upload it even if you only see a couple. If you think you spotted the perfect place to see thousands of butterflies and only two turn up, we, we need to know. We need to know where they are, not these insects, as much as where they are. And if you give us that data, I promise you that we can make better choices when it comes to informed conservation in the future. Well, we wouldn't enjoy some peace and quiet to brighten up your day by watching some of the most striking colours in nature take flight. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.